I am here with Jason, Brian and Vivek from the Comedy Zone Asia. So tell us a little bit about the uh, show, the Comedy Zone Asia. Okay, so Comedy Zone Asia is uh, a, a curation uh, by the Melbourne International Comedy Festival of comedians from Malaysia, Singapore, India and Hong Kong. We're doing shows from uh, Tuesday to Sunday at the Region Room at Melbourne Town Hall at 7pm. So tickets have been going really well. So yeah, we're pleasantly surprised that we're getting good houses. Excellent. Yeah. So tell us a bit about the show. Uh, the show is, uh, well, uh, each of us, I I'm just an uh, open mic level, so I'm doing uh, like a small spot, doing seven minutes, but these two, these two are the big hitters, so they'll, br they'll bring the show down. There's uh, uh, altogether six comics, so you're getting uh, value for money. So you guys are like a big deal, right? You know. Well, uh, well uh, I don't know about them, but <laughs> I can only speak for myself, and that's no. no, no. <laughs> Honestly, Comedy Zone Asia, it's literally like a mixture of the best of what Asia can offer for comedy. Mm. And the best thing is that you got so many different styles, as well as different personalities and different people from different countries. So they've got their own stories about how they live their lives. So one thing unites us that we just love making fun of each other. So it's like a good group of people just having a good time every night and come, come, you enjoy it a lot. And yeah, it, it's a great experience doing this show, Comedy Zone Asia and the Melbourne Comedy Festival because I think uh, when, when fans come and watch us, we offer a very different perspective. It's, I think, re refreshing for comedy punters to come and see us perform. Uh, Stand-up comedy is alive and well in uh, Asia. Yeah? yeah. Is, there, is there much going on in Asia in terms of stand-up and comedy? Uh, a lot since the last five years. I think uh, we all started our career ar around the same time. So like, it's boomed in the past five years. So now we have uh, regular open uh, regular open mic shows, regular uh, uh, comedy shows, like, um, and a full-time comedy club in Malaysia. And I think there's one in uh, Hong Kong as well. So it's great. Yeah. It's fantastic. And we've noticed different styles. For example, just our show. Everyone's got their own take, their own mm -hmm. style. Like uh, Brian's a one-liner type yep. of guy. Yep. I like to be silly on stage. You know, Jason just talks <laughs> even also watching um, Australian comedians and their styles like a lot of storytellers mm -hmm. um, so just all the different styles it makes you wonder like what is funny and what's comedy and it op opened my eyes where I was like oh you know what it's not just about just punchline punchline it's mm -hmm. about like give me a story give me a flow I want to enjoy the whole thing you'll enjoy the show wherever you go trust me <laughs> yeah, amazing I think the best thing about Melbourne is that the, the women are very hot Let's let's uh, go with that. Uh, 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 she's married, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, Brian! <laughs> You're ruining it, Brian. <laughs> Your wife has the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jason may not be going home. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's it's a really great experience, and uh, I always tell my friends or whoever uh, who who asked me what's the experience like. It's like a, a small fish in a pond now swimming in a great ocean. And it's, it's, it's just fantastic to see the level of comedy that I've seen here makes me feel somewhat embarrassed about my own style of comedy <laughs> and the level of comedy and also for Vivex because it's just so low. <laughs> and uh, we need to work on it, you know, we need to work a lot about uh, on how we can progress in our careers, you know. But it's also very reassuring at the same time because to see all the other fishes in the ocean, to know that ah, there are a lot of other weirdos like us who, who are doing stand-up comedy, if you understand what I'm trying to say. That, that's one thing I'll say about Melbourne. Everyone's so nice. Even when they reject you flying, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Oh, I'm really sorry. Well, good luck. I'm like, wow, you, yeah. you're on my side already? Like, uh, I don't know about them, but I got some, I've got one flying story I have to share with you guys, okay? Flames. Now, I was flying, like putting my hopes and dreams, you know, giving people flyers, right? Comedy Zone Asia. So I was dead center and uh, of this approaching couple, okay? They were holding hands. So I say, Comedy Zone Asia, the guy moves to the right, the girl moves to the left, but their hands are still locked tight. <laughs> so what they do is without breaking a sweat, they just go above my head, like, uh, like that. So I thought myself, I was literally passed over for love. But uh, yeah, please do come to our shows. Yeah, well, I think you need to go to their shows just so that they can eat. Um, and that's so Jason uh, doesn't get in any more trouble with his wife. Because it's not looking good so far, right? <laughs> well, it depends, Lisa. <laughs> um. So uh, we might we might leave on that note. And cut. <laughs>